Go get him, Captain. What do you mean by that? Oh yeah, there's still more things to tackle through. Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen? I'm Duffy Duck here once again and I'm back for some more if you again for the likes of the Maxi Toys videos. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my last play of Super Mario Galaxy 2 for the Nintendo Wii slash Nintendo Wii U eShop download. So, last time we did manage to able to continue things on in World 6 and managed to able to gather several more of those power stars and as you can see we've actually got ourselves 103 right now. And um, I guess that was about it obviously. So today for this episode is the fact that we are still about to be continuing things on in World 6 and eventually we might actually get into the forms of, uh, let's just say the last main level specifically for your first run through. Well, not so much just yet though, but we're not going to explain things too much specific details. But for now, let's head back to Clockwork Ruins Galaxy and do the pranks to comment on that level so we have the adventure of the purple coins. So once again we need to grab all 100 of them. And this is where the missions themselves start to get a little bit tricky and difficult if you guys manage to able to first time playing this. And you're probably going to be able to die a lot. So, and thankfully though, all the addition with the forms of uh, grabbing all of the 100 purple coins, we do need to also utilize the time limit as well. But thankfully though, we actually got about 5 minutes to able to do this. Because as far as I'm aware, uh, you know, for this particular section at the very beginning of uh, Clockwork Ruin, sometimes it might actually take a really, really long time to complete it. I think it, I think this is most notably because if you manage to able to try to focusing on the secret mission on that specific stage, then uh, basically it just managed to able to actually think about like you need. Obviously, you need to grab like uh, 30 coins after all, but then most of the time you have to wait until when everything else goes pretty much flat. Well, at least if you manage to land on the flat surface on that specific matter. So even then though, that's as far as I'm concerned with this specific stuff for this matter though. So even then though, it's not too bad though if you manage to get the hang of it though. But again, what makes this a little bit tricky and difficult is that if you manage to get one slip up, then you have to re-grab that. Oh jeez, see, um... Yeah, because I almost attempted to get myself screwed over for a second ago, but even then though, because, well, if you somehow manage to accidentally slip off for that specific platform, or the moving platform for that matter, well, you need to grab the, uh, the rest of the actual purple coins all over again. Which, even then, I will say, it doesn't take nearly as long as the forms of how it does it on, uh, time for the adventure mission, but, uh, still, it might be it takes some time before you're able to actually just, uh, collect those in time. So, even then though, uh, today's day is the forms of uh, the 31st of July, in this case the final day of July. So even then though, tomorrow is going to be August, and speaking of such, tomorrow is going to be a brand new marathon of Let's Plays we are going to be doing. But I don't know what's, which ones are going to be, but who knows, we're able to find things out and join. After one have I've done with this, uh, this particular game as it is, so even then though, or well, for now on anyway though, because I'll be returning back to this and doing, um, at some point in September of this year, so even then, hopefully we can able to actually get, um, you know, this Let's Play finished, alongside with, uh, you know, uh, Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, as well as, um, you know, um, I would say by the forms of, uh, Yoshi's Woolly World, which I still need to able to get back into that game, which is especially noticeable because, you know, Yoshi's Crafted World has been out for about four months now, so even then, though, despite there are some, uh, mixed receptions to that particular title, well, at least they have some pretty uh, good reviews, and especially some mixed reviews, which some people seem to be able to agree off, but even then, though, that's as far as I can go. So there is though, and as you can tell, the time it stops, and now we need to be able to get the power store itself. So even then, though, although first, before we do anything else, we need to grab the majority of the star bits, so just in case for the later portion of- Oh, whoa, 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 jeez, that was really close. So anyways though, um, not much else to really talk about this to be honest with you guys, apart from the fact that we're actually getting- Oh, what I missed that! Oh, that was really bad luck of my part. Oh jeez. Anyways, let's try this again, and yeah, it looks like I don't think I can make it for here though. Sometimes though, um, I was a little bit too hasty at one form or another, just because I was trying to able to actually get these, uh, uh, missions finished before we get into the forms of the final portion throughout it though, but regardless of such we did manage to able to gather the power star anyway though, so even then. Hopefully though, uh, as far as the actual commentary, as far as I'm concerned, hopefully though the actual, um, the normal microphone which we are still in currently using at the moment, although 
As I mentioned before, they will save up the uh, the new microphone until next year, so hopefully we can able to get a lot of usage on that. So even then though, um, yeah, that pretty much takes care of the forms of Clockwork Ruins Galaxy from now on, and let's head into the forms of Battle Bells Galaxy to do, of course, a Prankster Comet mission. So even then though, let's see what we got this time. We got Mini Planet Daredevil Run, so we have to defeat the majority of the enemies again, but this time around though, you only have one health to your disposal, so even then, once again, we need to go for the exact same mission again, but then, then again, um, you only have like one health, so... And looks like Luigi has not spotted this time around though, because I can assure to you, because of how the fact that, well, we actually gain quite close towards the end of, uh, World 6, potentially, so I think that's the reason why we're gonna be, uh, stuck with Mario for the time being, because even then, once we're able to play as, uh, you know, Luigi a certain amount of times or anything like that, then still, it might get some little bit more close attention to. So, yeah, speaking of such, uh, for this point today, um, you know, when it comes to the forms of other set of Let's Plays, aside from that, uh, Super Mario Party Let's Play has already been finished, and really likes to have been last Sunday or something, but also during the likes have been yesterday, that Sonic has recently finished up with, uh, well, NES Remix 2. And that pretty much takes care of the actual duologies of the forms of NES Remix games. Although there's only one exception, which is of course Ultimate NES Remix for the Nintendo 3DS, because, well, obviously it contains uh, some of the games from NES Remix 1 and some of the games on NES Remix 2. Which I'm probably not going to uh, tackle for that particular uh, you know, the 3DS game, I'm afraid, just because, well, with the lack of 3DS capture device, and especially noticeable with something else for that entirely, so, yeah, can you get over here? Oh, thanks a lot, you stupid lantern Goomba here. I was trying to ground pound you, trying to finish you off, but then again, I think it's probably because of my timing jumps is a little bit too slow at points, but even then, I will try this again, so... Yeah, it can give you, uh, some trouble if you manage to not pay attention to what you're about to be doing. But apart from that, though, if you manage to be able to take care of those specific stuff, then, uh, you know, you just have to pay, pay attention to your footing and stuff, so... But regardless of such, unlike any forms of how it does it on most other Daredevil missions, except with the forms of, uh, uh, Belgian Jr.'s, uh, Boom Bunker, uh, this level, or this mission, rather, actually contains checkpoints, so even then, uh, well, Alternatively, there are two checkpoints, because, well, if you imagine if, imagine if it, it, it doesn't have any checkpoints whatsoever, then we have to go all the way back to the very beginning, which might actually be not as fun as it used to be. But regardless, we got checkpoints, so this means every time we die, then we can able to continue where we left off. So, that could be pretty useful in some areas, so even then, let's take care of these old ice bombs, and, uh... Yeah, everything else checks out there, but the ones this makes it a little bit tricky and difficult. I, I, ironically enough, I, don't, I honestly don't find the uh, the silver jumps to be all that bad. But the ones we're gonna get into right now, after getting that key, which uh, obviously we need to take care of the actual 2D section when there was like a some sort of a rhythm thing going on. So even now, we'll uh, get inside this pipe we go. And this is the part right there. So basically, obviously, we need to still need to be able to stop these guys before you're able to finish them off. But um, also, you're gonna make sure if your uh, timing jumps or what have you, you have to be like, I was really up right over there. Screw you. Ugh. I don't think I could do a jump cut for this point, folks, because uh, thankfully, though, the actual. Uh, uh, the actual length of this particular section. It's not too long though, so even then though, as, as well as you, if you're able to actually think about something like, um, if you keep on dying a lot, then, uh, well, you're still able to actually get yourselves your, uh, um, extra lives from some, some specific segments worth noting for, but I've, I've no idea why I just truly really say that, so. Let's try this again. Anyway, we're gonna make sure we need to able to stomp these enemies so that we can able to just Fuck! I've no idea why. I just really hate these guys. In fact, go think about it. I think these guys in the 2D sections are actually one of my least favorite enemies in 2D segments because, holy crap, they never seem to able to stay completely still most of the time. Especially when we get to the forms of that circular formation planetoid. 
Oh my god, it just never seemed to able to work half the time for my jumping skills or what have you. Or, in this case, for this match with those, the fact that I wasn't nearly uh, touching them or anything like that. Well, at least aside from able to actually keep on shifting for those gravitational stuff. But, uh, still, it's a little bit more redundant. Anyways, third time to, third times in a row for that point. Well, in this case, the third time's a charm this time. And, come on, come on, there we go. Now we need to take care of the other two now. So, but again, I always found this sec section to be quite tricky and difficult compared to the forms of how it does it in the majority of any other planets for this matter because I just couldn't seem to be able to time my jumps well enough. But, uh, regardless of such though, we're actually getting quite close now so we can end up onto this last part where we need to deal with the actual silver jumps, of course. So, uh, of course this won't be the final time we're going to be seeing those, uh, silver jumps at the moment until later on though, which again, I'm not going to spoil things too much about this, so because of this, uh, you know, we're getting close towards the end, so... Anyway, so let's grab the key, and, uh, hopefully we can able to actually free that power star no matter what, so... There we go! And hopefully that will take care of the forms of the prankster comments, at least for now on anyway, though, because even then, uh, when we get to, uh, September, then we can able to actually continue things on at one point, which, uh, you know, you probably... I uh, can tell definitely why the how about excuse me, sorry about that, I just had some uh juice or what have you. Because even then uh, once again, the weather itself is pretty mixed. Like for instance, uh it was a little bit hot in the beginning, but later on though, um it just gets a little bit more calmed down or something like that. So there is those let's go ahead and access to this gate right there. In order to actually get to this part is that you need to grab 70 power stars, you know, very similar to Super Mario 64. Potentially speaking. So anyway, so let's go and enter this little uh, spot right there, and we have ourselves a cutscene. All right, time for the grand finale, Captain. Somewhere in there, your princess is waiting. What a surprise! It's a comet. It looks like Power Stars weren't the only things getting eaten up around here. It looks like Bowser wants to get even bigger. You need to stop that mo Bowser monster before he devours everything in his path. Get in there and show him what you got. So yeah, we get the idea, basically we can now actually entering the last Bowser stage in this entire game. We have Bowser's Galaxy Generator. Kind of think about it, in the first game it did say Bowser's Galaxy Reactor, but now in the sequel we now have Bowser's Galaxy Generator. So, Bowser's Fortified Fortress. And to be expected that, uh, you know, this is definitely the actual final countdown at the point, so even then though we'll, uh, stop Bowser once again, and hopefully we can save Princess Peach for, well, considering amount of times, so... By the way, I'm really loving this music, by the way. In fact, they actually did manage to reuse that on, uh, specifically Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U, and especially no support in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate recently, and especially no support, they did actually remix this song on the forms of, uh, all this music rapper on, uh, Mario and Sonic at the Sochi 2014 Olympic Winter Games on the Wii U. I kind of wish they actually that did make, actually make that appearance again on Rio 2016, but sadly that uh, Rio 2016 managed to able to fall flat due to its content or what have you. So at least I'm hoping that uh, Tokyo 2020 will be had some too many contents, including some of these returning dream events or something like that, which I definitely heard of that though. But uh, it doesn't show any of the footage on that, however, though sadly. But uh, we'll find things out by then. So even then though, let's get this thing to it with Bowser's Galaxy Generator, in this case the final Bowser stage of the game. So even then though, because we've already uh, taken care of Bowser Jr. for the final time in the 3D Mario game, well, it wasn't until whenever we get to next year that we can do a redo let's play of Super Mario Sunshine next year. So even then though, for a better quality and everything, but I digress. So yeah, um, obviously because of how the fact that, well, I'm gonna take a hit right there because, uh, there was actually a shortcut you can able to actually pull off by simply able to take a hit while simply able to, like, uh, you know, get off the actual spin drill. 
And then there's also another shortcut just beyond here and you can able to actually skip the whole entire portion of that section. Which I obviously able to actually just do can't guarantee how clever I am when it comes to pulling off some shortcuts or what have you. Sure it might be pretty useful in some speedrunners but uh, you have to be very careful and just a little bit, little bit more too hasty most of the time because sometimes if you actually uh, overshoot stuff very very fast more often well, honestly, you weren't able to actually just fail some of the skills that you pulled off from the actual speedrun tactics or something, so... Anywho, though. But again, not much else to really tell for this point, folks. It's just about the fact that, uh, you know, today is the final day of July, so even then, there's not much else to really say for this, at this point. So, uh... Yeah, I cannot even believe that. Oh, screw you, Bullet Bill. Screw you. How dare you try to able to destroy one of my cloud flowers or anything like that, all the cloud platforms, mister. But oh well, but hey, Steven, then though, it doesn't go nearly as uh, frustrating as the forms about does it in Bowser's Galaxy Reactor, at least at the very end of that specific portion, because, well, at least in this level, though, it makes it a little bit longer compared to the forms of how it does it in Bowser's Galaxy Reactor, at least to me, though, anyway, though, because, well, Every now and then now is the fact that we actually come across into quite a few checkpoints and especially noticeable with uh, specifically a lot of segments. So anyways, let's get a checkpoint and just uh, grab some of these coins to able to regenerate uh, our health. So uh, speaking of such actually, is the fact that a um, so few things we want to explain is the fact that uh, originally about the fact that Cap King 74 aka Stuart uh, somehow he accidentally managed to able to realize is the fact that, well, uh, he, 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 he did manage to able to use the, uh, how do I describe it? Um, he used to have his game called, uh, Okami for the Nintendo Wii, but unfortunately though, he did it, he no longer have that anymore though, I have no idea why, but even then though, that, oh, he still managed to have the original game though, don't get me wrong, and especially with the sequel, but, uh, we haven't get a chance to around on that yet, but even then though, well, uh, get to that whenever we uh, complete certain stuff first. So even then though, and that's why the Yoshi comes in with this level, so because of this though, we need to perform, you know, Dash Pepper ability, and especially noticeable with, uh, I would say coming up next, it will be uh, the actual Blimp Fruit. And the only fruit that doesn't make a return at all, which is the forms of uh, Bulb Berry, which uh, it all used for two worlds, which there are, uh, you know, Haunty Halls, and especially noticeable with, uh, uh, Sweet Mystery Galaxy, both are in World 4, so even then, uh, yeah, there's a common medal right there, you can either use Yoshi to able to grab that, or you can able to actually take a hit with the actual lava itself, so even then, though, let's go ahead and use that Bloom Fruit, oh, did I do it way too early? Yep, I did too early. So as a result, though, it actually made me lose our uh, Yoshi, so, I'm so sorry, Yoshi! Oh, that was a little bit bad, unfortunate stuff that's usually happened right there, but even then, though, some stuff happens. So anyways, let's go into this little snake block and activate that checkpoint no matter what and uh, let's just climb up the pole. There's also kind of a special trick you can able to perform by simply able to actually beat, uh, reach the final battle uh, with Yoshi, but it's actually pretty difficult to pull off, at least to me though anyway though. I know some people seem to be able to do it, uh, you know, no problem, but for me, it's just something to do with the actual timing aspect with the actual flutter jump uh, infinitely or something, so even then, uh, it might take me a lot of practice on that sometimes. But anyways, though, so once again, we need to use the, uh, the Meteor, uh, Rock ability, or the Meteor Rock to able to destroy the actual chain of cage, and that way we can able to see Bowser for the third time. Gah, give it up already? Why won't you stop trying to mess up with my awesome master plan? I'm building my new galactic empire right here, and you can't stop me. Why don't you just run off and go find some green pipe to hide in? You really think so? Can't you see I'm busy here? I don't have time to chat. Let's cut this short, shortly. So here we get the idea, now we can actually fight against with Giant Bowser for the third time in a row, but uh, now this time, it's basically gonna get a little bit tricky and difficult. But honestly though, it's actually pretty easy if you manage to get the hang of it though, so even then though, 
plays out exactly like how it did on any other Bowser boss fights, and even then, though, every once in a while, though, that's, uh, you know, he has more attacks to his disposal, even though... I wouldn't say that much of a challenge at all. The only major difference is, is the fact that he now actually spread out uh, the actual purple, uh, uh, you know, purple sparks right into the forms of some other size or something like that. So, uh, it's hard to explain about this particular attack though, to be honest with you, because, well, you know, this battle plays out exactly like how it did on, uh, you know, between the first time and the second time, and now for the third time, it just makes it a little bit more similar, so... But even then, though, still the usual uh, stuff. Basically, we still need to use the actual Meteor Rocks to able to actually attack him. And once again, only four hits, so... But what makes it a little bit trickier than he forms of how he does it on the first two uh, fights against with him is the fact that you need to be extremely fast to be able to attack him this time. Because even then, though, if you do not even, like, get enough, get enough time to be able to attack him, then uh, obviously you need to wait for about another few seconds notice. So even then, though, is that... Well, you probably get the idea for that, so, uh, but apart from that, though, still uses the Fire Breath attack, so even then, though, or the Flamethrower, or anything like that, I don't know exactly for sure, because I know for the fact there's been quite a few days since I actually come back into the actual recording sessions now and then, especially noticeable after the moving day and stuff, which I will say, after the moving day, oh man, it takes a lot of time to able to actually get back into more uploading schedules for half the time, but I digress, oh, I just got hit, but whatever. What ifs, because even that though he's almost pretty much done. So, uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and just deal with this last hit. And boom! So, last for the third time that the Grand Star spews out from Giant Bowser. And once again, Bowser shrinks into small size. And, uh, well, in a normal size for that matter. So, there goes Bowser for good. And hopefully, though, he won't able to actually kidnap Peach ever again. Well, until the future installments. Like, for instance, in 3D Land, and most recently, Odyssey, so, uh... Anyway, so here's the sixth, and uh, possibly the final Grand Star in the game. So even then, uh, we'll, uh, go ahead and reach to it. So even then, uh, let's see if we can able to... What the hell? Aw, oh, really, Bowser? You're not gonna give up yet? Jeez. Hey, guess what, Mario? Breathe a sigh of relief, because it'll be... It'll, it'll be your last. Know why? Because this is really the end. The end of you. So it turns out it wasn't exactly over yet because, well, now we need to deal with Bowser for the final time, but in Zero Gravity um, Battle Arena. So basically, exactly the same deal, but we have to do a bit of a timing requirement because in order to actually deal with, uh, you know, still he has like four hits, much like he forms about does in regular Bowser fights. But even then, though, if you manage to do a little bit more of a better angle, especially no support of the timing aspect, you can able to actually deal with him no problem. And uh, as a result, this final boss is a total joke. Like, literally a joke, if you're fast enough, and even a little bit more angle enough. Ugh. My power's gone. My empire shrinking. My huge cake never get a slice. Because too bad for you, Bowser, because you never seem to invite it ever again. So he now just managed to able to get into the actual, uh, Voltex of all things, and, well, he surely disappears. So yeah, basically, that Peach managed to able to get, uh, hang on to the Grand Star now, so even then, it was a pretty nice touch of and all. But even then, though, that before he able to grab the, uh, the sixth and the final Grand Star in the game, we just grab these star bits, and thank you. So yeah, so let's go ahead and just wrap things up with, uh, Bowser's Galaxy Generator. Well, from now on, because, well, again, we'll explain more on that until September, so... Yo, yeah, we save Princess Peach as Mario, and we got ourselves the sixth and the final Grand Star in the game. And let's watch the ending.
Oh, it's so beautiful. Wait a minute, isn't that supposed to be familiar? That's the Comet Observatory! PlayStation triangles and X's are everywhere. I always thought we would meet again. There's Rosalina! Mama! Sure enough, we found her. I am Rosalina. I watched over and protects the cosmos. I've been waiting for all of you. When that evil monster took our star power, I was separated from my precious little one. But I know we'll see each other again. Because... There was a force that blends us, defying even time and space. Not even the laws of the universe can stop it. I know its gentle pull would prevail. It was a des the desire to be reunited with someone who is important to you. That pull is what brings us together. We have come through so much to meet again. This is not some mere realm of the stars. I am sure of it. Mario. Thank you. Thank you for returning this child to me. I will never forget you. Even when I... Uh, even when I someday become a star myself, I will never forget you, Mario. Never, ever, I won't forget. And he just runs off with my cap! <laughs> May the stars shine down on you. That particular Lomo just managed to able to, you know, grab my cap. Uh, that kind of reminds me of Super Mario Odyssey almost, but even then, uh, it wasn't until in 2017, though. So, the little one was reunited with his special someone. And you too, pal. Am I right? Alright you two, it's time to get you back home, to back to your home planet. In this case in Mushroom Kingdom for the Star Festival. So hopefully none of those uh, chaos will be able to happen again. So uh, let's blast back, back home and uh, you know everything else will be fully returned and restored in one piece. Well at least as far as I can usually think about it for the time. So uh, yeah, it's not the most... It's not the most emotional ending, though, unlike new forms of how it does it on uh, the original game per se. But it's still a nice little charming ending at the same at the same time because uh, I just can't believe that Rosalina is now making her return. But even then, though, that uh, she's now able to actually just use her Comet Observatory to able to travel through time and space or something. So, uh, anyways, though, so once the actual ending is being shown, then much like the ones and how it does in the first game, we actually have ourselves a stuff Christ, which. Kind of thing about it, it plays out very differently from the likes of how it does on the first game this time around. Because, well, do you remember in the first game on the staff credits though? It did show us the forms of some of these screenshots from the likes of the actual game itself. But this time around though, in this game in particular, it says the actual next page will be able to be opened up as it is. And since because this is all in widescreen, so this means that you can able to see almost everything. Because if you actually play this on 4.3, uh, original ratio, it did match able to actually just makes it a little bit more squeezed up at points, so... But I digress. So you can actually just manage to take control of Mario on the staff credit sequence, which kind of like how it did on the, um... most other games, like for instance, uh, New Super Mario Bros. Wii does that, and especially noticeable in New Super Mario Bros. 2, 
and heck, even with the forms of new Super Mario Bros. U slash new Super Luigi U slash new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, and uh, as well as the forms of 3D Land, or Super Mario 3D Land I should say, but the only game exceptions are Super Mario 64, Sunshine, 64DS, and the original Galaxy game, and heck, even with the forms of 3D World, and heck, even with the forms of Super Mario Odyssey as well. So, uh, that's as far as I can usually think about it for the time. So even then, uh, I think it's going to take place in some of these uh, different locations based off from, let's just say, in Toltron Galaxy, for instance, as well as the forms of Supermassive Galaxy, as well as, uh, Freezy Flake Galaxy, and not to mention with the forms of, uh, Boom Moon Galaxy because of that tilted moon. And, uh, yeah, that's as far as I can say about it. The performance in this game is such an amazing thing that has ever existed of because, wow, well, much like before, that, uh, you know, the soundtrack in this game is completely orchestra music, which I always intend to enjoy and loved. So even then, uh, I will say, it's the fact that I actually really enjoyed the music a lot more than I was expecting in my first time playing for this. But even then, uh, that's probably because, well, I pretty much used to it on the first game when it comes to the other music and stuff, but even then, though, yeah, as far as I can say about it. I'm not gonna get into the actual final thoughts of the game just yet, though, because there are still more things to come. Like, for instance, that um, after when you beat the actual main story, uh, there's actually more to it than that. Because you remember on the first game, after when you beat the game just once, uh, you actually access the Purple Comet missions in every other galaxy. The only exception is are uh, the boss galaxies, as well as the forms of the secret galaxies. But in this game, this time around, though, it's going to be somewhat a little bit different. So even then, though, that way we could be able to actually get into that during the September. So I said this before, that uh, we'll take a break on this from now on though, because until tomorrow, especially for, you know, in August for this part, it's going to be a next marathon. So even then, I'm really looking forward to that specific stuff. So uh, hopefully that should be pleasing to the eyes. So here's that smaller, teeny, teeny, tiny blood Bowser. So let's go and beat the crap out of him, because even then, uh, I have a stump on his head. Or even we can able to actually use Yoshi on that credit sequence too. So yeah, it's pretty swell if you ask me. So even then, though, and for the last shot, it's basically it's just the Mushroom Kingdom is about to be celebrating for the Star Festival once again with a giant portion of that cake. That's pretty swell if you ask me, as well as that Starship Mario at the end. And we got ourselves the actual Blue Comets, which actually represents, I don't know, something, um, it's hard to explain about this sometimes, but much like before. Thank you so much for playing my game. Of course, it's definitely your game, Mario. It's definitely your game. So, join me, uh, join me next time on Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy 2, and that is because we are now going to be getting on to Special Worlds, which that'll be for next time. So yeah, see you guys until September, so later, fellas.